Okay, here we have a brand new Compact Logics L1. Let's go ahead and take a look at the label. We'll zoom in on it. And here you can see I have a 1769 L16 ER BB1B. You can also see that it is factory sealed. You do not want to break the factory seal if you're not sure you want to keep the item. So we're going to go ahead and break ours because we're going to definitely keep this unit. And I'll get my knife out here. We'll cut it open. And let's see what comes inside. Open her up. Okay, first thing we see here is a piece of documentation. And what is it? Well, let's see if we can get it open. <laughs> Uh, product information, a lot of warnings and a lot of languages. Um, some good information here. Here they're showing us the minimum uh, spacing requirements that is needed. So that's always good to know. You don't want to mount this too close to something else. So it will overheat. And uh, uh, how to get additional manuals. Not much in this document. Anyway, seems like they could put some more information in there. And now we have the L1 itself. And all right, we'll move that cover and take the unit out here and let's take a look at it. I'll go ahead and zoom in and the first thing I notice is we have this uh, label over it and the label says that this is a Series B and it'll only work with 20.014 firmware in later and 24 in later. Looks like they skipped 21 and 23 but again, that could change over time. Sometimes Rock will release a product like this and it only supports a couple of different versions, but over time they'll go back and add version support. So always use their website, ab.com, to determine exactly what versions this model will support as it does change over time. So let's go ahead and pull this notice off here. All right, okay, we'll take that out, put that off to the side here. And now we'll take a look at the front of our unit. You can see we got the uh, indicators up top. We got the terminal strip down at the bottom for the built-in I.O. Here we have a little door. And these units do come with an SD card, which is pretty awesome. It's an industrial SD card, too. Not one of those uh, commercial ones. Just have your little run program switch right there. Uh, USB for for programming. And you get a two-port Ethernet switch. That's very, very cool. It's only one IP address, only one MAC address. It's a mini switch. So um, you could take one to the front of your enclosure and one to your HMI, um, but it's not two separate networks. It's not two separate Ethernet ports. Okay, let's look at the side here. The right side, we have the cover for the point IO. Because this is an L1, it uses a point IO local expansion. This particular model, I believe, can take up to six cards, where the L18 can take up to eight cards. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the back. Say so it supports DIN rail mounting, and this is one of the rear uh, units that doesn't have mounting feet. So this is not going to be something you can panel mount. It looks like you can only DIN rail mount it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's look at this side up. We can see the product label. Let's zoom in on that. Okay, and what else do we have? We got the bottom, we got the vents. Top, we got vents. And um, that's it. That's what you get when you purchase a Compact Logics L1 processor.